So they're going to be a skip here. Notice how I keep the blade, the bit of the axe, far away from me when that happens. There's a slow motion coming up uh, when this section is bucked from the log. Notice where the bit of the axe stops there. Swing control.
sever the log. In this view, um, another response to widen your stance, that commentary. Get in the collegiate chopping box. No thank you. Uh, again, I am at least, my feet are three feet from my target. Backing up, even. So notice the swing control and the slow motion coming up and the one previous to this. Notice where the axe stops. I'm not a collegiate chopper. I'm the backup guy. Backing up a little bit. Switching sides. Switching sides again. Again, uh, slow mo is coming up. Notice where the axe stops. Swing control. Stay out of the path of the axe. Stay out of the path of the axe.
All right, again, notice where this axe stops. Swing control. Slow motion coming up. Again, stay out of the path of the axe. Know the arc of the swing. Gotta wear uh, chain mail, steel toe boots, steel shank boots. Fifteen more notches to go. So this this may or may not be pretty tough. We'll see. Commenter said there's no way that I was in control doing this high duration of chopping. Let me say to you, most definitely, if you're swinging the axe, if you're not in control of it, stop swinging. You have no business holding the axe. to give the long form viewers something other than a, a view of my body from the shoulders down uh, we had a pile of uh, axe chips here of course they're everywhere uh, we've got that uh, longer section of log to go yet and then uh, this section right here which is the lightning hit section just want to chop it next I want to back you up a little more so that you're not looking at my body from the shoulders down. So zero zoom and uh, we're just looking uphill. And there's a considerable grade here. The other camera is going to be uh, somewhat my point of view. We'll chop this one first. Stay out of the path of the axe. Know the arc of the swing. Control your swing. And again, I'll say it again. If you're not in control of the axe, you have no business swinging one of these. So in talking about swing control, uh, I want to define that. In talking about swing control, I want to define that a little bit more. 
Uh, if you can just barely swing a seven pound ax, if that's what you're gonna use and stop it, that's what you need to do. One fella said you're swinging with your awl. There's no way you're controlling that. I'm not swinging with my awl. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If that's all I control, I'll control, that's all I do. I can do a little more than that. I'm confident of my control, confident of the path of the ax. And I know no man, even racing competitors, that can swing this ax <clears throat> 800 times, giving it their all in one standing. I may be wrong on that. 800 swings giving your all? I, I mean, I just don't know. I can't. And that's not what I'm doing. I'm swinging across my body. I hope you're in view. On the right side, left-handed. This is right-handed, this is left-handed. Chop left-handed across this side of my body. Matters not how wide my feet are spread. Right-handed across this side of the body. Same thing. Severed in the dirt. None the worse for wear, and we will do a close-up on that. Back view. I'm going to swing on this side of my body. Again, leg spacing has no bearing. Swinging on this side of my body. I find that notch. Same thing here, I'm coming across this side of my body. A wider leg spacing would endanger my right leg. Back to the left. Back to the right. Back to the left. One more blow should get it. Nope, maybe two. Nope. Finding that notch again. Arc of the swing. Widening the stance has no bearing on safety, except for the negative. down, right side. Straight down. Again, right-handed swing, straight down. Done. And this is a working pace, not my all. All right, left side of my body, right hand swing. Right side of my body, left hand swing. Again, again, right hand. Big chips. Backing up.
six feet from that. I'm gonna give it my all right here, left hand. Almost. Right handed. And again, I'm about six feet from that. Here we go. You saw where the axe stopped. We'll do a slow motion of that. Last one. Um, for all practical purposes, this is the review of the Tuatai work axe. Uh, I'll do a sling calculation. Um, and we're going to do it up close as soon as I finish this up close on the handle. And then we'll do a later detailed review. So, there's a fella whose channel is uh, Axe, give him a little shout out, and I will also link his channel in the, the description of this video. I found him doing a search on the Suicide Work Axe, and to my knowledge, he has the most splitting footage of anybody, as far as YouTube goes, to my knowledge. So, you want to see how the Suicide Work Axe splits? Go see Mr. Axe over there. I mean, Brian, too bad, can't you? Opt out to your troll. I'm going to split this block, and that'll be it as far as my splitting with the two atari. Uh, Wood, but too tight. Let me do one more. Yeah. So, immediately after that axe flip, I told you I'd give you a close-up of the handle. And I'm doing this for a reason. Um, a lot of commentary about when you miss and if you miss. Look at the underside of the belly of this handle. Untouched, unsanded. And we'll be posting in this video total number of swings and it's several thousand uh over 800 in the last full length video and today was just a a walk in the park compared to that one so several thousand swings on the two atali work axe and uh a couple of axe flips in there i think at least one in this video but uh i'll uh we'll do a, a up close and in detailed a review on the two atali work axe uh, shortly a few days maybe a week maybe longer but it's coming everybody thank you for watching uh, be safe be careful respect the axe whatsoever your hands find to do do it with all your might <laughs>